This is not the way Daggerheart intended for them to be used. Sorry if I piss off Daggerheart, but this is the easiest and cleanest way I can get it to you so you can print it off and just play. What do you need to prep for a Daggerheart game? Where in these folders and this 377 page book am I gonna find the information I need? I've only got two days and my friends sprung this on me and if you're equal parts of excitement and fear about running the game, I've got your back. So, this is a no BS, here's everything you need, go have fun guide for how to start playing Daggerheart. Uh, this is for beta 1.2 by the way, the one that just came out. So I combed through all of these folders and files and that very long book, which is only about halfway done. My cheat packet is going to include just the main stuff you need. I'm gonna put that on my Patreon. There's a link down below in the description. Um, it's free on my Patreon. You don't have to buy anything, just go play Dagger Heart, have fun. So if you look in the folders, there's gonna be the main folder. We're gonna break that down. Then the GM materials and the players materials. What we're gonna need from the main folder, I actually took the first and the 27th pages from the Quick Start Adventure Guide. The reason for that is it's not the whole book. This is a condensed version of the very, very large book version, but even still, you don't need all of that. So I wanted a title page specifically and the materials list for what my people need to bring. It's just handy, I love materials lists, I'm kind of a nerd that way. So um, don't forget your fear tokens, other than that standard d, &D stuff will be all you need. Page one, page 27, and then the Universal Sidecar, which is just a character sheet slidey guide. If you move it to either side of the character sheet, it will line up and tell you what each of those sections is, which is super handy. I was going to make one, and then I learned they already did. It's going to be a trend. I wanted to make a bunch of tools, and they are too damn smart. Um, good for you, Spencer Stark. Your team's awesome, but I was going to make those for you. <laughs> So that's what you need from the main folder. Go ahead and click into the DM folder. We're gonna take the character creation guide. It's super solid. It tells you um, just what you need to get your character started. Although I've got a few bones to pick with it, but I'm gonna put that in a video later. We're gonna keep this brief. You want the play guide. The equipment page is gonna have one page for all the equipment. I'm super in love with it. They've got magical equipment and stuff in the book. Don't worry about it. That's pages and pages of equipment, we don't care. This starter equipment page is super short, concise, it's all you need to get started. Moving on, within here in the gym materials there's going to be another subfolder called cards. You want to go to the all cards folder, you're going to print out most of these. So go to the action tracker card, it's a whole page, it's kind of a waste of paper. I didn't cut it out, I just used it um, as is. You'll need it to start out. Once you get proficient, you probably won't need it. Um, we've got heritage cards, which are the race and the and the community? Community. <laughs> Still learning all this stuff myself. So these two are actually by default in the same document, which is great. Um, just go ahead and print it off. Um, you could ask me later why I don't like clanks or fairy race. Um, print out the domain cards. You want to print out only the starting level because you don't want to print out a ton of stuff. Um, normally you'll just need level one. By default, the rules say you start as level one no matter what, unless your campaign is further ahead in levels. The GM version here, there's a version in the character sheets. The GM version here uses way less paper, so I'm taking that um, and printing it off. Because I'm trying to save as much paper as some of the ones I've waste. Print out the subclass foundation cards, so just pages, I think one and two. You don't need specialization or mastery, I think it is. Either way, foundation is what you have in the first level. Later on, you get the other ones, don't worry about it. Next up, we're gonna change folders back to the player's materials folder. Print out the character sheets, except you want to print out only pages three and four because the play guide, the character creation guide, the equipment guide, the domains, all the other subclass, yeah, subclass stuff. They're all in there. These are actually pretty big PDFs. 
you only want pages three and four because you waste paper from the format that they give you in the cards and all the other stuff. I'll be making a video after this one, I'm kind of in a rush now, to have all of the brief rules that are not covered in the how to play document, they're not covered in Quick Start Adventure Guide. I've got quite a bit of notes on all these pages. They did a great job, but it's a beta. We're working on it. PDF that I have is actually in a different order. It's in the order that you're going to need them and use them. So you just open the PDF, print that sucker off, take it to game, and go through page after page in that order. And then you'll have your characters done and you'll hit the play guide and you'll go play. So smooth as possible, proper order, all the information you should need to get your game going.